Guys, brand new Summoner's War update 663 is here. There's a couple things in here I think you guys are really going to like. But first, if you didn't already hear about it, there is going to be another Summoner's War collaboration coming soon. This was uh, courtesy of a Korean source translated to English. Summoner's War held large event to mark the 8th anniversary of its service, raising more than 8 billion won in daily sales, entering top sales in major countries, etc, etc. In order to maintain this growth trend, a famous IP collaboration and offline event, I mean, they're just talking about S SWC, but it does say famous IP collaboration. The question here, a lot of people speculating on what this IP collaboration is going to be. I mean, it could just be another collaboration with one of their own brands or one of their sister products or whatever it's entirely impossible it could be another street fighter collaboration as well they don't say specifically that it is not street fighter again it could be street fighter again with different units it could be a completely new thing i'm not sure i was trying to find out i couldn't find any extra information on here i know there's people that know but they're not saying anything they're under nda they're like the direct com to us employees like the the influencers that are directly like work with com to us they're all under nda so they can't actually say anything especially to me so uh this is all we know for right now but i'm sure they know a little bit more uh and then we also have this is just another thing that was shared to me com to us is directly um investing in other companies mostly companies that are working with nft projects like mobile nft things so and I, I noticed this as well i saw some ads for different games and i'm like oh that is says it's comp to us but it doesn't look like it's comp to us it's like companies that comp to us is either investing in or acquiring that they've been using all of this money that they made from summoners war over the past uh eight years um and buying up either part or whole of a lot of different uh, game studios that are working with nft stuff so even if you don't want to work with uh comp to us in the future or don't want to play their games in the future, you may be playing another game and it may still be calm to us. Just FYI. I just thought that this was shared with me, so I just thought I would mention it as well. And I was I was doing some research and I was finding research in other places as well that was that verified that. But we do have six three, uh, 663 update notice. The big thing here is auto TOA. People have been asking for <laughs> auto TOA and improved 10 pulls. So people have been asking uh, uh, asking for this for a while. Uh, trial of ascension autoplay function that is the number one thing that they're uh, talking about autoplay i mean it basically works as you would assume that it would work if you stopped doing toa at a certain stage like for example like uh 45 then you're not going to be able to start like it's it auto plays 10 levels so if you stopped at 45 you're not going to be able to do the 10 levels from 40 to 50. that's just one of the things that they uh they mentioned here but really i don't think this is about the players that have never beat toa before i think this is just about the people that have beat toa so many times that they're just tired of doing what stage by stage by stage by stage just, i, I want to push the button and just walk away from the tablet i don't want to just sit here and watch toa for the hundredth time or more than hundredth time maybe that they've uh between toa toa hard multiple counts i'm who knows how many times some of us have actually done this uh, this thing. Here's another one that I think a lot of people are going to glance over. Arena New Rival Amir, right? So, oh, okay, a, a new Arena Rival. Curious why they added this right now. It just seems kind of out of nowhere after so many years of just having the same amount of rivals uh, to just have a new one. The thing here, though, that I think a lot of people are going to glance over is you will earn glory point plus three as a reward when you win against Amir. And you can fight against constantly without a preparation period. Constantly without a preparation period. So this looks like this is going to be good for people that are low level that want to farm points. And they're like, oh, I can't hit any of these defenses because all my monsters are crap. And even at low level, people have some OP defenses, right? So you should be able to just farm without a preparation period, as they say here. That would be nice for people that are just looking to get their wings done and not like, I want to hit all the hard teams. They're just like, I just want to get the wings done. This way I get some points. So that's going to be really nice for people. That That's going to be nice for people whose teams suck. Which, as much as people don't like to admit, there are there are plenty, plenty, plenty of those accounts. So we have 10 times summon improvement. Uh, tribute scrolls are now support 10 times summon, which they should have done it before. Uh, timing, uh, visual effect has been adjusted. 
We'll see how... Well, I'm not jumping the gun on that. I jumped the gun a little bit the first time. I'm not jumping the gun some more. Uh, the mermaids are in... This is still a lot of points, though. I don't know that all the people are going to have this many points to actually get the mermaid transmogs. But mermaid transmogs um, are in the guild, guild seal shop. Some of you might have points, by the way, that you don't know that you have. That you can actually get some of these skins. Just FYI, if you didn't notice before, if you haven't been paying attention to this guild seal, a guild seal shop, I have noticed people that this is, they didn't even know what this shop was. They haven't even tried going to it. Um, then what do we have? We have sorting order has changed. If you've already maxed out a uh, tower, then it's going to go to the end of the list, which is nice. I mean, it's not anything crazy. It's just nice for visually, right? Last but not least, it wouldn't be a summoner's war update unless we talk about the rune packs. We got some brand new rune packs in here these could be potentially really good or misleading and not as good as we think they're going to be so we have shop efficient special pack limited time product eight year rune special pack six star hero plus runes with power up level 15 already fully completely upgraded you don't have to worry about how long it takes you don't have to worry about how much mana it takes is all already upgraded 15 i mean not 15 uh plus 15 12 runes and 500 crystals 200 that that just here's 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 my here's my comment on this hold off wait to see watch some youtubers some twitch streamers see what they're getting from these packs and then decide if you want to get these packs they could be very strong they could be just garbage i mean it doesn't necessarily say that they're going to be good it just says that they're going to be fully upgraded it could be fully upgraded nonsense. It could be fully upgraded uh, resistance slot 6 purple rune with like no speed, no HP, no anything. It could be um, defense, flat defense slot 2. It's like, what would you use that for anyway? You don't know what these runes are going to be. So before you buy them, hold off. See if everyone else is getting some decent stuff with them. And then decide if you want to buy it from there. But anyway, we do have potentially could be some crazy stuff, right? And fully upgraded. Swift runes purchased limited to three times. Rage runes purchased limited to three times. Fatal purchased limited to three times. Vampire, despair. They're, no, I mean, they're twenty dollars each. Sixty dollars times six, so three hundred and sixty. I mean, before like Amazon coins or whatever you want to use, that's still three hundred and sixty dollars for all of this. I think a lot of people aren't gonna. Actually, there's no will runes. This is kind of surprising. Violent, swift, rage, fatal, vampire, despair. Well, they're doing all four sets. That's why. I just noticed that now. That's why. I don't think too many people are going to get the Fatal Rune Pack. They're gonna, I mean, people are going to get the Violent regardless. I think people are not even going to wait for me to say anything. They're like, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to buy the Violent. And then I'll find out myself if they're uh, good or bad. But potentially could be pretty, uh, pretty crazy. I would say to take a look, um, take a look uh, at whatever other people are getting from there. And then we have, actually, I didn't even read this part. Rune item guaranteed to drop as a clear... Oh, that's n really nothing. Quality of life improvements. Uh, then we have monster bug fixes, which is just basically nothing. It's just bugs and bugs and bugs and bugs. And I guarantee there's even still more bugs that are not being fixed in here. But at least they're fixing some stuff. Anyway, that's it for this one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. There's other... Uh, there's other rumors and there's other stuff that I want to talk about, but we'll leave that to uh, another video. That's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in Auto TOA. I'll see you as always in the next one.